Thanks for joining us. Two years ago, Garrett Smith started feeling that something was off. He would have he would start randomly choking and slurring his speech. The symptoms progressed and on June 30th in 2017, he was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Since then, he's lost function in his limbs and speaking has become difficult. But with the help of new technology, getting around is now a lot easier. Garrett Smith dedicated his life to fighting for our freedom. He had two deployments. Uh, he was in Iraq and Afghanistan. He served in the Navy Reserves, but two years ago, the Woodruff man had to start fighting for his own freedom. It puts you in shock. You don't even know how to respond. Smith was diagnosed with ALS. It wasn't easy news to hear for Smith, his wife Jennifer, and their three kids. It starts with anger. Um, just how do you go from here? You've been building your life and now you have to change your life. But even when Smith began to lose his ability to speak and move, he and his family never gave up hope. But he still smiles I know. every day. Now that hope paid off because Smith has new technology to make moving easier. The first man in Wisconsin to drive with his eyes. Smith can move his wheelchair just by looking at arrows on a screen. It is a blessing to have this technology. He used a joystick before but would bump into things because he doesn't have complete control over his hand function. Smith got to take home the program known as Independence Drive earlier this week after he tested it out at the Milwaukee VA. Now Smith has some of the freedom for himself that he fought so hard to protect for others. What's it been like so far? Oh man, um... Freedom. The Smiths are big advocates in the ALS community. They spend a lot of time connecting with other families affected by the disease and even have a local support group in the Northwoods.